Hi, I'm Dr. Young. Monopolies can affect social welfare by creating deadweight loss. Should the government intervene? And if so, how? This video will cover this contentious topic. Let's recap monopoly pricing. To maximize profits and sustain high prices, a monopolist restricts quantity compared to perfect competition. This creates deadweight loss the size of the red shaded triangle. Should the government fix it? Here are some policy approaches. First, the government could take control of that industry. Take the example of natural monopolies. Special markets where one firm supplies a good or service at a lower cost compared to a competitive setting. Natural monopolies like electricity or water management used to be dominated by state-owned firms. Those aren't as profit-focused as a typical business would be. They can charge low prices and cover the losses through tax revenues. However, state-owned firms can often run inefficiently because they are not subject to competitive pressure. This can inflate the cost of production. Rather than state-owned firms, the government could leave production in private hands and intervene through price regulation. This is very common when utilities are supplied by private companies. The most common type of regulation is a rate of return regulation in which the prices that a firm charges cannot surpass a preset level. This ensures that the firm can recover the costs of the infrastructure needed to serve its market. Ideally, this rate of return should equal the competitive rate of return on capital, what the firm would have gained with alternative uses of its money. Still, this rate is hard to determine. Very hard often. Underestimations by regulators can impair the quality of service. Due to how rate of return is calculated, the regulated company has a strong incentive to overinvest in capital, often called the gold plated water cooler effect. While some industries are best served by one firm, there can still be market competition to establish which company gets to serve that market. Government contracts for essential services like garbage or highway management are good examples. The government gives a single firm exclusive rights to manage, say, a highway eliminating any form of competition. But firms have to bid to get the contract. They propose to provide the service at a given price. Since the firm that proposes the lowest price wins the government contract, the system creates a market incentive to keep costs low. Antitrust law prohibits firms from inhibiting competition by 1. Preventing mergers between competing companies when their combined market share exceeds a predetermined level. 2. Breaking up large monopolies with excessively high market shares. And 3. Prohibiting unfair market strategies that might restrain a competitor's access to the same market. Finally, the government can just do nothing. Traditionally, only a substantial deadweight loss justifies a government intervention. This is often the case with a monopoly, but not always. For instance, price discrimination, the business practice of selling the same good at different prices to different consumers, can be socially efficient. These are the main policy approaches in dealing with monopolies. Feel free to visit Chegg to see pre-solved examples or ask one of our subject matter experts. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.